Hello, my name is Karen and I live in uh, San Diego, California. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I will be voting for Joe Biden in 2020. I am a former Republican, uh, currently an independent voter. Um, I was a Republican for many years, starting when I was very young, when I could first vote. I am a lawyer, a former prosecutor. Um, I have a great deal of respect and support for the law enforcement community in our country, for the most part. Um, I was raised by a father who is a West Point graduate and have always had a lot of respect for the military. I grew up going to Sunday school, going to church with my family every Sunday. So I am not a super liberal, ultra progressive kind of a person, although I do have a lot of very liberal views. I've always had a kind of a mixed, been a kind of a mixed bag politically when it comes to my views on, on different things. If you are a Republican and you want the Republican Party to come back to life, because as of now, honestly, it's dead. It's the party of Trump now. It's not the party that it used to be in this country. As, as imperfect as that may have been. So if you care about the Republican Party and you want it to come back, if you believe in the Republican approach uh, to government, that's all the more reason to vote Trump out because he's doing nothing but hurting and hurting and hurting, not just the, the country and the world, but also the future of this party. Um, he, with his completely incompetent, angry, narcissistic, power-hungry ignorance is dangerous to, to all of us. There's just no reason to keep him in power, whether you're a Democrat or an Independent or a Republican. He's not good for any of us. You know, you can tell when he speaks about practically anything, that he does not know what he's doing. Obviously, when he talks about the law, when I hear him talking about the law and the Constitution and the way the government works and the separation of powers, it could not be more obvious that he truly does not know what he's talking about. You know, he's like a child sort of playing a game of pretending to be in the role of the president. And it's, it's genuinely scary. And for, you know, for those people who might hear me say that and kind of roll their eyes, you're wrong, I think, if you don't see that actual change to the state of our democracy has already occurred and will continue to occur uh, if, he, if he stays in for another four years. Honestly, I can't imagine anything worse than that. So if you care about the party of uh, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, um, or Ronald Reagan, if that's the Republican you admire, then get rid of Donald Trump because he's just doing everything he can to guarantee that it will never come back. So I'm voting for Joe Biden. I think his calm, moderate, middle of the road leadership is what our nation needs right now to start healing and to start recovering from all this havoc that has been caused by the Trump presidency. And uh, I hope that other people will vote for him as well. Even if you're so liberal that you don't like Joe Biden, please, for the love of God, vote for him anyway. Because if you don't, you're just helping Trump get reelected and nothing is worse than that. So from a Karen who always wears a mask in public and does not need to speak to your manager, vote for Biden in 2020. And can we maybe think about changing the name, the Karen meme name to something else like I don't know, Ivanka? Okay, thanks. Biden 2020.